we have checked into our hotel for the evening. It's called Hanging Horn Resort. Um, our room is actually really nice. It, um, one side faces, it's a corner room, so one side faces the lake and one side faces the forest. Um, so we are headed actually down to the lake to do some paddle boating for just a little bit before we grab dinner. Leslie, the hotel manager, when she checked us in, she told us that uh, there's some there's an eagle nest over here on the lake. So that's where we're going to go try uh, to get to, and then we'll see if we can see uh, the eagle's nest and hopefully some fledglings and maybe the uh, the parents as well. So this is my first time on one of these contraptions. Um, it is totally leg powered. So we are just kind of motoring around the lake. We're at the spot in the lake where the bald eagle nest is supposed to be. However, we can't find it. Now we're going to go chase some balloons. Uh, Kelly doing her loon call, trying to get them to talk back to her. Okay, Mr. Expert. Let's hear Derek in the background now. Well, we got pretty close to the loons, I don't know, probably 20 yards or so, and it seems to be two moms and then two babies, and they're all diving underneath the water. The moms are coming up with some food, and then it's feeding to the, um, the babies. It's pretty neat to see. The water temperature was actually pretty good. I ended up having to take off my shoes so that we could push the paddleboard out. Otherwise, uh, we were just kind of stuck on the shore. So, but the water is like actually really pleasant. It'd be very nice to go swimming. In. Overall, though, it was a lot of fun. We got to see some loons. That was pretty neat. Uh, we missed the eagles, but you know, maybe next time. Need to just go wash off my feet and then we're gonna go explore the town of Moose Lake. Let's go check out our room, number seven. Come on. As I mentioned earlier, this is our view. We've got the lake off to our left and then the forest off to our right. So we're here in a corner room and kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, so looking forward to falling asleep tonight and probably not closing the blinds. Here's the lobby right outside our room. Uh, it's got a lot of DVDs, books, um, a place where you can play checkers on the table, just where you can kind of relax and lounge around if you don't want to spend the time outside or inside your room. Before we head out to Moose Lake to go explore the town and eat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go skip some rocks. Found my rock, nice and flat. It'll probably go kerplunk anyways. Right here 
right here is a good skipping rock. Pretty small, but it'll be good. Are you gonna use that one? I don't wanna waste it. Attempt two. Yeah, ready? Go. Two. All right, I'm gonna do third times a charm. Now these are pretty small rocks, so they're definitely harder to skip uh, for that, but we're giving it a shot. So Kelly's getting serious now. She's putting down her purse and her backpack. Just off fly was ahead. said that there's a padlock on the door but it's never locked and that you can just um, kind of open it and go check it out so hopefully that's the case this is pretty neat in here one of the old um, time churches where you've got just a small piano and the pipe organ in the front and then all of your wooden pews facing I guess the front, I don't see a lectern or anything up there, um, but very cozy and quaint. So behind me you have a large stained glass, uh, which if I had to guess looks like it's the tree of life and then the dove would be the Holy Spirit. We just finished up with the church. It's definitely worth the short drive up here just to check it out. I and mean, it was pretty cool inside, a lot of history and everything like that. Time to go get some food and explore Moose Lake. So I take my love and hide it away From those who steal Till I find my way How will I call? How will I call? How will I call? actually getting him breakfast for dinner, always a favorite, um, and Derek got a burger with a fried egg, so we're trying this place out. It was a recommendation from the hotel that we are staying at, so looking forward to some good home-cooked food. I am looking at this um, menu inset here, and it talks about how all the stuff is made from scratch. Um, so the orange juice, for example, it says is made from freshly squeezed whole oranges, uh, and the cheese even on the burger that Derek is getting. Um, each slice is cut from a 40 pound block to keep it fresh. Um, they also roast their own coffee beans so there's a little gift shop here um, that I think we're going to check out when we leave and I might be buying a bag of coffee to bring home with us.
it is it's got caramel swirls. So she said it's similar to Moose Tracks, but instead of chocolate, it's got the caramel swirl. To see what's real. I'm going to guess 41, 42. So the way it works is whoever loses has to pay. <laughs> Kelly is paying tonight. No. No. I believe a gentleman always picks up the tab. Without you. thoughts I ended up getting um, breakfast for dinner I got two eggs and bacon and then a hash um, tried out that instead of the hash browns absolutely fantastic it was a mix of potatoes sweet potatoes bacon onion and some spices um, absolutely delicious and I would say that if you were here visiting to make sure that you get the hash and not the hash browns if you want a little treat I had basically a cheeseburger, or a bacon cheeseburger with a fried egg on top. Uh, it was really good, and then they also had uh, homemade fries. Those are probably one of the better fries I've had uh, lately. So definitely recommend this place and give it a thumbs up. One of the things that they also mentioned was that everything, for the most part, is fresh made there at the store including the roasting of their own beans so we picked up a bag of coffee um, and when we get home we can grind it and hopefully it is delicious um, not sure what we'll do if it is very good because uh, I don't think we'll be up here too often to buy another bag And then we are staying at a place by Little Hanging Horn Lake. We're around here. Two hours a day, five months and a year. Oh, I loved you too long. We stopped here at the Chamber of Commerce, but unfortunately it was closed. Uh, so we just got to look around the front area. Uh, there's a big moose out in front that we were able to explore and kind of take pictures with, uh, which was pretty neat. So basically, all we did uh, coming to Moose Lake, we ran out of time, but we ended up going to eat some dinner, and then uh, we just kind of drove the city just to see what was around. But now we're going to head back to our room and then just relax.
Once a kid, always a kid. Almost dropped the GoPro. So I attempted the water. I don't think I am a lake person. There's too many squishy things that you can feel on the bottom. So I pretty much did not let my feet touch the entire time. This is the view that we have from the water right here. Got the nice sunset going down. The water's really warm, and so getting in the water was not too bad. Um, this is the first lake I've been in in probably, I don't know, 20 years or so since I've been back in Minnesota, or since before I left Minnesota. Uh, ocean out in California is a little bit colder than this. It's pretty awesome to hear all the loons and you can see them flying around. Looking back in the history of this place, it used to be the Arrowhead Music Camp. And it was actually quite interesting reading about who attended here. They did summer camps here for like famous musicians. And it was uh, Prince actually was in here in the late 70s. But that's kind of a cool little uh, history that you can read up on this place. That Prince actually attended one of the uh, summer band camps here. Pretty neat. We had pretty much finished up for the day. We were just going to go back to our room and hang out and read. And then I was going to work on some videos and things like that. But, you know, the water was calling. So we had to come out here and give it a shot. It turns out to be it was pretty fun. Final thoughts on the Hanging Horn Lodge. It was a lot of fun. It was a really relaxing time. Uh, we only got to stay here one night, but um, we definitely would like to come back and stay a couple more days, uh, hang out on the water, do a little bit more uh, activities there. But overall, it was a good stay, and I would recommend it if you're ever in the Moose Lake area in Minnesota. So that'll be it for this video, and we'll see you on the next adventure.